G'day, g'day, and welcome to My Summer Car. In today's video, I'm going to explain the top 20 tips and tricks that I have learned playing a thousand hours of My Summer Car so far. Before we get into the video, I would like to thank every single one of you for subscribing to the channel. This is a video on celebrating 2,000 subscribers, so this video wouldn't be possible without you guys. So thank you all so much for all the support. Also, if you have any tips or tricks of yours for My Summer Car that you would like to share, comment down below and I might feature them with your name in the next tips and tricks video. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into the video. Did you know that the default colours for the Satsuma on the main menu are actually different to spray paint? If you were to buy a can of spray paint from Timo shop and spray it on the car, as you can see, the colour of the spray paint changes the default colour by quite a bit by just using spray paint. This also happens with other colours of paint you use, so pick a colour now, not later. If you're driving down a road and all of a sudden your engine pops out of your car, there's a way you can get the engine back in without a motor hoist. If you have a beer case, you can actually use it to level out the engine. Just place it under the subframe and this should be level enough for the screws to appear on the subframe for when you go to put the engine back in. And also, more than likely your radiator is empty from the engine falling out, so make sure you top that up before going again. If you have just totaled your car, you're far from home and have no beer and your thirst bar is high, there's a way you can lower your thirst. By looking up and pressing P, you can drink your own urine. Your thirst bar will begin to go down. No guarantee that this will save you, but it will help. You're driving down the highway and find there's a police checkpoint ahead and you don't want to deal with the police. Without having to chuck a U-turn, you can drive up in the open space next to the police checkpoint. If you stay far away enough, the police sirens won't go off and you'll be safe. For now. If you're driving your car, your coolant has run out and notice that the car's overheating. There's a way you can fill up the radiator without using coolant. Before you open up the radiator cup, let the car cool down for a few minutes. After it's cooled down, you can pee in the radiator. Don't worry, pee has the same effect as coolant. There's a really good way to use the sauna. If you place the water bucket under the shower and leave the tap running, you can lean forward in front of the sauna and grab some water and use the sauna much quicker and have a continuous water source to grab from. You have just been woken up by drunk guy during the middle of the night and want to get back to sleep without having to wait and build up fatigue. You can just go up to the TV and look at the screen. Your fatigue will begin slowly building up. Wait long enough, you'll have enough fatigue to get back to sleep. If you're driving your tractor, you're at the abandoned mansion and you forgot to bring the sledgehammer to smash the doors. There's an easy way to get through. You can use the tractor arm and ram through the doors, breaking them down. If you get the sofa from the junk pile and bring it to Timo's shop, or if you have the receipt from the Satsuma at Flataru's, if either one of those shops are closed, you can easily sleep to pass the time until they open up again. An easy way to increase the Satsuma's horsepower is by removing the exhaust muffler or the exhaust pipe. You don't really need to take off the exhaust pipe, but you'll get an increase. However, doing this will make the Satsuma loud. RIP headphone users. If you're far from home or if your water fuse is dead and you need some water, you can use the lake in the middle of the map as a free water source, so if you need any coffee or kill you brewed up, you know where to go. You're building your Satsuma with a spanner and can't afford a ratchet set. You're sick of it being so slow. Well, there's a way to speed up this process. While looking at the screw and by looking up and down as you scroll on the wheel on your mouse. With a good enough time and you should be screwing things in much faster. A good tip I always remember is when you have a lot to move at Timos. All you have to do is throw the stuff out through the wall and not carry them one at a time through the door. So this can speed things up if you're in a rush. If you're either in a rush or too lazy to take the long way to Flataru's repair shop, you can follow the train tracks up till you reach the dirt road. However, you will need to be careful as just to the sides of the train tracks are a water barrier. So stick close to the train tracks and if the train is coming, stop the car giving the train a little room. But if your car touches the water, your car's toast. Did you just arrive at Timo's shop and find out he's closed and you need fuel? Well don't worry, because there's a way you can get access to the fuel pumps. You will need to enter Timo's pub if he's still open, and go around the back and under the counter of Timo's shop is two switches. One is for the door and the other is for the fuel pumps. However, you will need to pay for the fuel when Timo opens up his shop again, otherwise you're going to jail. Is your game's FPS horrible and you don't want to use mods to solve the issue? If your computer uses DirectX or OpenGL, there's a way to increase your FPS. The first thing you're going to do is open up your Steam library, find my summer car and select properties. The second thing is in the properties menu. Under general, you are going to click the box that's under launch options. 
So what you're going to type is force direct X, or if you're using OpenGL, type in force OpenGL as shown. And now all you're going to do is open up the game and your FPS should have increased. It may not be a major difference depending on your system, but it should help. Is your character dirty after doing a poop job and the smell is getting to you? Only problem is you have no shower or sauna. There's a way you can clean yourself for free. If you use the lake in the middle of the map, you can get cleaned. Give it less than a minute and your character should begin getting cleaned. Be careful not to go too deep into the water, as you can drown yourself. There are two sewage sites in Parajavi, two in Lope and one on the dirt road towards Lope. Firewood delivery job is on the road towards Lope before the drunk guy's house. The four wrecked cars can be found in various places, such as the forest, in the junk pile, down a hill, off from the ski hill, under a bridge, next or inside of many barns around the map. The sledgehammer is needed to open up the barns, or you can just use the tractor arms. Remembering these locations will save you a lot of time when it comes to doing these jobs. The job payouts in my summer car, pumped in septic tanks gives you 1,200 marks. Delivering firewood gives you 3,200 marks. Delivering all four wrecked cars will give you around 4,000 plus marks. All the jobs in the game that are repeatable are pumping septic tanks, delivering firewood, brewing and delivering kill you, delivering advertisements, picking strawberries, driving a drunk guy home, and driving grandma to the church. The jobs that aren't repeatable are stealing the video poker machine, vandalizing the inspection shop, delivering wrecked cars, and hay bale delivery. Here is the My Summer Car map. This map is very useful for understanding directions and locations of places. Knowing the times and days of when a place opens and closes is super helpful as you can plan much better and think further ahead. The map in the game doesn't show where everything is except towns and areas, so you should look up a My Summer Car map on the internet for a more detailed map. So there it is, a My Summer Car Tips and Tricks video. If you liked the video or found it helpful, consider giving the video a like. And if you have any tips or tricks that you would like to share, comment down below. Once again, thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. I am currently doing a series on My Summer Car, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. This is Yeti, signing off. Peace.